Friends, welcome to the Mari Smart Company. Today we have an unusual review. Now we'll analyze the classification and types of devices from our company. Since we shot a huge number of different videos about our devices. But nevertheless, you still have a lot of questions about which device with what functionality is suitable for your projects. Since there are a lot of devices in our company and it's not so easy to figure it out at first glance. But we will answer all your questions in this video. And at the end of the video, we have prepared a gift for you that will help you speed up the process of understanding which device you need need. So watch this video to the end. Let's go! And so to begin with, I want to note that we have a certain number of devices, since we have a lot of different equipment with different functionality for different solutions. For example, we have MT61 line, MT53 and MT51, and each of them has its own class of devices. And let's start with the widest range of MT-51 and MT-53, which you see now on my desk. If we look at the MT-53 device, we will see that they are not independent. They are auxiliary devices that connect to traditional MCCB, RCB, RCBO, expanding their functionality. That is, by connecting an auxiliary device, we can remotely control the circuit breaker, connect via RS-485, remotely turn on and off the device, automatically return on with short-term malfunctions on their self-removal. But all these functions are not in one device. They are divided into different devices. And in order to understand, we have a special marking on the devices. Just by looking at the marking, we can already understand what functionality is available in a particular device. Now let's go directly to the device classifications themselves. We have two types of devices. These are SWR and ARD, which means remote control device, an auto reclose device. Here the device is divided into two types, either remote control or automatic reactivation. In a separate video, we told and showed how this function works. The device has a certain timer for switching on which, using a mechanism and software, performs the function of reading the state of the power grid and automatically returns on. We have a separate video about this. You can watch it on our channel. And so the following classification is connected with the division of functionality by devices. For example, we have in this device the functionality of automatic reactivation and remote control via dry contacts. But we still need a RES-485. You can purchase such a device. It will have a terminal. And there are two contacts in the terminal that will be connected via a RES-485 and Modbus protocol. We already have the RS marking. Let's now directly analyze these markings and try to understand what they tell us. The letter I means that we have an input for a dry contact that allows us to remotely control the device or display its status to work, that is on or off. The letter X means that we do not have remote control, that is no RS-485. But at the same time, there is a status output, that is we have a light indicator connected that allows us to understand that the device is on or off. That is you just looked in the electrical cabinet, you saw that the device is turned off, because the indicator lit up, and you understand in what state the device is working, whether there is power in the network. And the notation S, which stands for that the terminal has an RS-485 interface that works using the Modbus protocol. And these three designations we have supplemented with a marking, showing you which device is in front of you. We also have another separation of these devices. This is its voltage. The device can operate at 230 volts, or at 48, or at 48, 24 to 12 volts. That is AC-DC voltage. You can also see it on the front side of the device itself. But one of the most interesting and pleasant moments that were made by a company is the devices for connecting with the Schneider line. That is MT-53. We have the ability to connect with circuit breakers, which we have in our arsenal. But there is also a special MT-53 and MT-51, the design of which is designed specifically for the Schneider line of devices. If you are a fan of Schneider, you like their devices, 
and you want to expand our functionality of traditional protective equipment using our devices, then this is also possible. As you can see, now we have several devices that are connected to MT53. They connect to the IC65 and IC60 line. You can fix them, they will work as one. The same as with our devices, only with Schneider. So, let's now try to figure out what kind of device is in front of us using a visual example. Now I'll take one device, see what functionality is available on this device. If we're looking at the Marken in front of us, the MT-53 RA IX device. What does this tell us? This indicates that our device has the functionality of remote control via tri-contact terminal. We also have automatic reactivation, which is indicated by the letter A. The letter I means that the device has a dry contact that can be connected to other devices if this device has a dry contact terminal. And also X means that the device has manual on and off and displays the status of the device. If the device is turned off, the indicator will be displayed. And if the indicator turns on, the indicator will also signal that the device has automatically turned on again. This is not a difficult way to read all the functionality just by looking at the marking and realizing what is in front of you. In the description of this video, we have attached a separate file that you can download. This file contains the entire classification and decoding of markings in text format. That is, you can see in which letter designation, in which functionality is spoken. In order not to review video many times, just open the document and it will serve as a template for you when choosing the necessary device. So, go ahead and download. Bye!